What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. So we are checking out Deliver Us the Moon. There was a time. Resources seemed endless. But in 2030, the great energy crisis began. With hardly any resources left on our world, global powers created the World Space Agency to look beyond the Earth for answers. The answer was found in Helium-3, a powerful isotope discovered in abundance on the Moon. With it, humanity could satisfy its energy demand for decades to come. And so, in 2032, mankind colonized the Moon, spearheaded by the Lunar Council the WSA constructed several permanent settlements to harvest and process Helium-3. The resulting energy was transferred to Earth through a revolutionary energy network, the Microwave Power Transmission, or MPT. For a time, all seemed well. Then, one fateful night in 2054, the lights went out. No energy. The MPT had gone offline, and communication with the lunar colonists was lost. Without earthly resources to launch a full-scale rescue mission to the moon, the World Space Agency was shut down permanently in 2055. But a small group of former WSA colonists refused to accept humanity's bleak future. Determined to discover the colony's fate and to restore the MPT, They've been preparing their mission in an abandoned desert launch facility. Now, in 2059, they are ready to launch an astronaut to the moon. What awaits is unknown and unforeseeable. But the mission is clear. Deliver us the moon. family of the missing lunar colonists gather all around the world tonight in remembrance of the 2054 MPT blackout that resulted in a global power outage and the loss of contact with the lunar colony. The blackout caused global turmoil which ultimately led to the closure of the World Space Agency one year later. In other news, the recent formation of the largest dust storm on record has prompted climatologists to readjust their forecast of the equatorial desert's growth rate. As a result of the new storm, the desert could soon cover 30% of the globe's landmass. Alright, let's get my suit. Sweet. Ground control to Fortuna 1, this is Claire. Please confirm radio contact. Radio contact confirmed. Make your way to the launch platform and prime the rocket for liftoff. We have to launch before the dust storm hits. Crap, where are we at? Do a couple laps real quick. Up to the, facility. the control center is located on the top floor. There you can prime the rocket for launch. Calculating new storm ETA. Claire, we have a problem. The storm is approaching faster than expected. Way faster. Time's running out. Keep going, Fortuna. We've been working too long to give up now. Oh, come on, man. Oh, 
Oh, yeah, aren't I supposed to be boarding that? Oops. Wait! Don't do it! Wait for me! Come on! I'm going. Chill out. <clears throat> oh man. Rocket navigation systems online. We're nearly there. It's just like your training. You can do this. Initiate launch procedure. Ground launch sequencer started. Rocket boosters, ignition start. Engines ready in five, four, three, two, start. One. We have sweet. So peaceful. The view must have been breathtaking when the first astronauts made their way to the moon just a hundred years ago. They knew an Earth full of life. All we know today is dust. If you can bring the MPT network back online, it could restore the hope humanity lost after the lunar colony fell. We could recover, rebuild, and most of all, start thinking about a future. You'll need to find the MPT transmitter at the Pearson Space Station. From there, the power signal was relayed to Earth. This was the final link in the MPT network before the blackout. If there are answers to find, they're at Pearson, Claire. We need to head down to the shelter. These winds are getting bad. Understood. For Tuna One, this storm is going to jam radio contact. You'll be on your own for a while. To reach the station, you must. Oh, what you're in the purple. No worries, I got my book. Please, deliver us the little bit. I'm in space. <laughs> That's it, the game's over.